So we are here at Brands Hatch uh, for the third round of the Speed Series. And in front of me is uh, Rob Garafal, who's the current uh, lead in the Driver Challenge after two excellent first rounds. So Rob, what would it mean to you if you emerged as uh, the end of the season overall leader of the Driver Challenge? Oh, it would just be fantastic. Um, I was lucky enough to go out to Daytona uh, about three or four years ago when uh, Martin Short was racing the Mosler out there in the 24 hour. Uh, so to have been out there and got a flavour of the atmosphere and, uh, and the, the scale of the event was just fantastic and the opportunity to go out there and compete as a driver in, uh, in a prototype at the, uh, the leading class in the field would just be an absolute dream come true for, uh, for, for an amateur driver. Yeah. How do you think that driving a speed car, you're driving the Juno car, compared to one of the Daytona prototypes would be like? Um, it's hard to tell. I mean, certainly these cars are very similar uh, in driving style to an LMP car. Um, having driven with Tommy Erdos and, and Darren Manning, who have uh, had experience of those cars, uh, they, they both said that the, the actual driving style of a, of a speed car is, uh, is, is very similar. So hopefully uh, the experience gained in this car will transfer across to, uh, to the Daytona uh, prototype uh, in that it's, it's a car with, uh, with aero. Uh, obviously these cars uh, have a, a fair degree of aero grip. Um, so, uh, so hopefully, yeah, I mean, the, the, the actual driving style will transfer. And, uh, uh, and it will be a, a very enjoyable experience if, if it were to happen. Yeah. What um, you, you have been uh, testing all day today, and uh, is the car quick? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we, we've emerged. Uh, I think at the top of the timesheets today, it's an unofficial uh, practice day, so I'm not completely sure whether uh, everyone's telling us the truth on their lap times or not. But, but certainly, we're happy with with our progress today. We've improved the car a lot, and uh, and I think we're confident going into tomorrow's race. Yeah. So, what what, what would be your tactic uh, with tomorrow's race? Is it to go flat out or be sort of um, no, the, the, these uh, endurance races are very much about working from the end of the race back to the start. So our first goal is to finish the race. So you, you've got to assess uh, each lap as it comes. You've got to drive the car. Um, certainly not uh, defensively, but you, you, you've got to be guarded. You've got to make sure that you're looking after the car, looking after the tyres, and handing over a good car to, uh, to your teammate in order to, to, to get to the finish. Um, with the best result possible, but it's certainly not about driving the car as hard and as fast as you possibly can. Um, that's, uh, that, that generally results in a breakage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what do you think that your average lap time would be tomorrow in the race compared to qualifying time? Uh, generally we see two to three seconds slower in the race, um, which isn't particularly driving the car any differently. It's, uh, it's just a fuel tank, a full tank of fuel uh, is quite a significant difference uh, to the handling of the car and uh, uh, and obviously with the, the tyres doing the duration of the race the uh, the performance isn't quite there uh, as the race progresses so I would say uh, as an average two to three seconds away from a qualifying time would be a good race to race. Okay, now um, the speed cars are very much a formula where you have the same engine. Uh, tell us a little bit about the different types of Manufacturers that in the car, that's in the championship, and what what are the, what are the similarities and what are the differences as well, if you could please. Okay, yeah, um, I've been lucky enough to drive a majority of the different manufacturers' cars. Um, there's two French manufacturers, Norma uh, and Juno, that both uh, sorry Norma and Ligier that are both represented here. Uh, the Norma is a very nice, easy car to drive. Probably the fastest car in the in the championship. Um, the Juno that we're driving here is a new car for this year. Um, we're still developing it at the moment and we're still finding pace in the car. So I'd say it's probably not quite as, uh, as fast as we'd like it to be at this stage, but certainly we're making good progress and good steps forwards. But they're a very, um, a very nice car to drive. They've got all the features that you have in a Le Mans car, i.e. they've got paddle get, uh, shift gear changes, um, you've got... Uh, sequential gears obviously the, the the cars are as i said before they've got a huge amount of aerodynamic grip so you're carrying a lot of speed into corners um it's, they're very much a confidence car to drive you really need to get the best out of the car you've got to have the uh, the confidence to push the cars hard into the corners and carry speed at all times and you've got to be so smooth with the cars 
they have only got the, the, the Honda 2 litre engines producing, I think, something in the region of 250 horsepower. So to get the best out of the car, you've got to be very smooth, very progressive, and keep the car under control and not sliding, to keep the tyres in good condition as well, and, and basically just to, just carry momentum all the way through as uh, the, the, the corners and onto the straights to, to get the best out of the car. Okay, well, thank you very much, Rob, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. I look forward to it. Cheers. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.